Thanks for joining us in a low college basketball. fans. We've got a great night ahead and a couple outstanding teams going at it. We're going to have the pleasure to watch. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. We've got the Kansas Jayhawks and the Michigan Wolverines. And, and you know guys, we go back many years broadcasting college games and it never gets old. Every big time player makes a name for themselves at the college level and we could see that again on display here tonight. Well, with a guy like Freak suiting up, you know that there are going to be scouts watching his every move, but you look at the roster of both of these teams, and they're really loaded with talent. So let's take a look at the starters for the Kansas Jayhawks. We've got Oubre, and it's Gaines in at the five down low. You know, sometimes you can see how a player can lead on the floor from the sidelines, and you see that with Freak. I mean, he's got the skills and athleticism as a point guard in addition to the leadership, too. And guys, people often underestimate just how important leadership is. You know, there's no stat for that. But guys like Chris Paul and, and Steph Curry have incredible skill. But their leadership on the floor is equally as important. Freak is a floor general in their mold. Now here's Freak. Here's Ellis. And no good trying to use the glass. And, and Kansas always seems to be entitled contention. I mean, the program does a great job of finding tough players and having a system that fits them best. Rarely are they not a title contender. Freak with it. Working on Lee. Here's Aguilar. No good. Good D by Lee. And good defense there uh, to play up and get a hand in the face. Well, he's got a tough mindset. He's confident as a defender. And when you combine those two things, it makes it real hard to score on him. And Michigan has possession. Smith right side. Here's Aguilar. And a big bounce off the rim, but it sinks right in. Freak's got his second basket of the night. Boy, can he finish in the paint. That's one thing we know he's good at. Lee with the ball. Duncan outside. Gaines gets to Terry. Rebounded by Ellis. Oh, excellent interior D to force the miss. His defensive ability is a big factor. I mean, there's no denying that. Now oh, here's Freak. And he gets that one to go off the front iron. Freak. He's got six points. And Freak has really come out blazing here in the first half. Absolutely imposing his will on the opponent. And Greg, that's what great college players do. I mean, they control the game and really make the opposing defenses adjust to them. A platoon swap here for Kansas. Here's Deadman. He kicks to Frazier. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Frazier's got his first basket of the night. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a terrific look. Yeah, I like the fact that the setup was good. The screen was solid. But you also have to look at the fact that the defender didn't do his job as well as he could have. And here's Freak. There's the pass to Cunningham. And yep. Finally drops after rolling around the rim. Cunningham's got his first two points. Kansas trails by four. On the court for Michigan. Aguilar in at point guard. Taylor is out there with Cunningham. And it's Jefferson in at the small forward. Williams shot is off. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. Aguilar can't get it to go. And Kansas the other way now. 
Now here's Williams. Down low, it's deflected. And here we go, fast break. Reek's got it, here's Knight. And the layup falls. Boy, he picked him out brilliantly with that feed inside. There's 154 left to play here in the half. They set the pick. Here's Dedman. And so he ends a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. It is. There's no reason to back off. And we welcome you back to college basketball here on 2K Sports as we get ready to get going for the second half of play. And guys, I think we may see some strategies being adjusted here as we get into the second half. Still plenty of time to cut into this lead. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, Freak has done a good job of getting his team in this position. And they got themselves a bit of breathing room in the first half. And all they have to do the rest of the way is manage the lead. And so in the game for the Jayhawks, they've got Duncan, and it's Oubre in at the three. Last break, here come the Wolverines. One thing with Freak that we know is he makes sure he gets his shots up no matter what. One way or another, he's going to get his workout in, and that's why so many are confident that he'll continue to improve. Part of it is that he has a twin sister who actually taught him how to play ball. She helped him develop his game and become the player he is today. Pr pretty nice to have a sibling willing to help you develop your skill set on the court. Here's Aguilar, and two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. First trip to the line for him here. And the free throw, no good. Free at the line for two. And the second free throw, good. Kansas trails by 11. Lee passes to Oubre. There's a good screen. And there's the whistle fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. The Jayhawks have split their free throws right down the middle so far. They're two for two. Oubre. And both free throws good for Oubre. And Michigan has possession. Now, Freak. Nine points in the game so far. Well, the effort was there, but he just couldn't quite fight his way through traffic. Oubre dishes the games. And a wide open look for Lee. Misses the three. The Wolverines leading by nine. That's good from Crawford on the assist by... Crawford's got his first points of the night. Another bucket in the paint. That's something they just have not been able to stop today. Yeah, the defense is all about disrupting timing and spacing, and, and what they've got going right now is not getting it done. The defense better not make a habit of giving him that shot. I mean, he doesn't miss many of them. And you see a lot of players who are very talented play with a me-first approach. That is not the case the with Freak. He doesn't try and attract any unnecessary attention and just focuses on playing his game. Yeah, I like that about him, Greg. I mean, in a day and age where most guys are self-centered and it's all about me, it's refreshing for a player like Freak who doesn't invite that kind of noise. I mean, that's as impressive as his skill set. Shots good by Lee. Give an assist there, not for the pass, but for the solid screen set on the inside that freed him up and made the layup possible. Freak with it. He's against Lee. Kicks it out to Crawford. Here's Smith. Rebounded by the Jayhawks. Lee with the ball. The dish to Gaines. No good on the three. Boy, from my angle, it looked like it was in the bottom of the net. Looked good from here. Yeah, I'm about as shocked as you are, Clark. And that one's good. 
they should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Can't connect from 14 feet out. Here's Freak. Smith in the post. Terry covering. Smith no good. Aguilar, he's in a point guard. Jones is out there with Ellis. Then it's Smith, and it's Crawford at the shooting guard. Lee outside. Rebound by Smith. Smith's got four rebounds now tonight. Freak with it. He's picked up by Lee. Freak kicks to Ellis. Fires from the wing. And Lee pulls it down. Not really sure what he was thinking about on that shot. That is not high IQ basketball. Not at all. I mean, he shouldn't even have considered taking that shot. Just a poor, poor choice there. Ellis, the pass to Aguilar. Lee with the block. Pushing it up. Here's Duncan. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. The Wolverines leading by 11. 149 left to play here in the second half. And good on the basket. Look it. And here is Williams. They set the screen. Pass to Frazier. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And that one misses. Good on the second free throw. Aguilar, no good there. And so it's Michigan winning this one. Some good moments throughout this one, but they had the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, and I thought good execution really played a big part throughout.